welcome to this channel in this tutorial we will learn and simulate the transmission gate before going into this tutorial I request you to like share and subscribe to my channel below the schematic and the logic symbol of the transmission gate is shown you can see that the gate is made up of parallel connection of an NMOS and the PMOS transistor. With reference to the figure, when S is high, the transmission gate passes signal on the input to output. The resistance between the input and the output can be estimated as Rn parallel to Rp. In a CMOS transmission gate, the NMOS pass gate passes logic lows well and PMOS passes logic highs well putting the two complementary MOSFET in parallel. Thus this particular transmission gate passes both logic levels well. Now the propagation delay time of CMOS transmission gate with respect to the above configuration is given by the following equation. For a general digital design purpose when we are using a long or a short channel CMOS process we have to use the following table which gives us the effective value of resistance of a PMOS device to a NMOS device in a long channel process as well as in a short channel process. Now let us start by placing the components on the schematic window. Click on component and select NMOS from the select component symbol with explicit substrate connection. Rotate the NMOS accordingly using Ctrl plus R button and place this on the schematic. Similarly click on components and place an PMOS. Rotate accordingly by using Ctrl plus R function and click escape. Now click on capacitor symbol and place this sim capacitor symbol on the schematic window and click escape. Now click on component. We must place an input voltage source and source which act as a CMOS supply. Now in this design place four ground connection which is required for the voltage source for the PMOS transistor and which has to be placed on the capacitor. Next click on wire and connect the negative terminal of source V1 to ground and the positive terminal to the drain of NMOS. The source of NMOS is connected to the capacitor C1 and then to the ground. Connect the drain of PMOS to the drain of NMOS and the source of PMOS to the source of NMOS. The gate of PMOS will be connected to the ground. The negative terminal of source V2 is connected to the ground and the wire on positive terminal will be net label named as VDD. So click on wire and name this net label 
as VDD at the gate of NMOS. Now also draw a wire across the transistor NMOS and right click on that, click on label net and define this as VDD. Similarly, we have to click on net label and select ground and place this on the substrate of NMOS. Right click on the capacitor and define this as 50 femto farad. Next, right click on the source V1 and click on advanced. Select pulse and define the V initial as 0, V on as 1, T initial as 200 picoseconds, T rise as 0, T fall as 0, T on as 500 picoseconds and T period as 3 nanoseconds. Since we are using the BSIM model for our design purpose, we have to define the exact model name. So right click on the PMOS and we must define the model name as per the BSIM model file which is P underscore 50 nano. So you have to use this particular model for the design purpose. So define this model name as P underscore 50 nano and the length as 50 nano and the width of PMOS as 1 micro. Similarly, right click on the NMOS, define the model name as N underscore 50 nano and place this in the model name. Now, the length of this particular NMOS will be 50 nano and the width will be 500 nano. Next, click on SPICE derivative and we must include this PSIM model in our design. So, type the following statement that is dot include BSIM for underscore model dot text and click on OK and place this particular text file on the schematic window. Next, click on edit and click on spice analysis. Select transient and select the stop time as one nano and place this on the schematic window. Now, uh, save this particular circuit and uh, we have to ensure that the uh, schematic where we have saved the BSIM model file has to be present in the same folder. If you run the schematic and if that particular file is not present, you would end up in error. Now, okay, we have to change the capacitor value as 50 femto farad. So let us run the simulation. Now place the probe on the input and next place the probe on the source of PMOS and NMOS. You can see the transient analysis of the transmission gate. Now by increasing the width of MOSFET used in the transmission gate reduces the propagation delay time from the input to the output.
Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose. I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below.